Hi guys, good morning from the Great River Road. A new state is upon us, guys. That's right. We're getting down south now. We have hit the Mississippi State Line here on the Great River Road, Mississippi River, just on the other side here of 61. And we'll be hanging out along the river today looking for some fun stuff to do, waiting for that sun to come out too. Oh, it's a good feeling. Birthplace of America's music. Okay, here we go. Had to shed a layer. Look out world, Nomadic Fanatic is chasing warm weather again. Yes. Here we are at the Mississippi Welcome Center in Tunica, Mississippi. Gateway to the Blues. Look, look at that old building. I love it with the train track in front. Interesting, it says Highway 61 Blues, 61 known as Blues Highway, rivals Route 66 as the most famous road in American music lore. Of course, this stretch of 61 or Blues Highway is also sharing the Great River Road. There's signs everywhere. We can't get any closer to the river right this second. Not quite sure how much of the Great River Road I will stay on the Mississippi half, but I did get my new magnet to add to my collection. Woohoo! And welcome to Clarksdale, Mississippi. Speaking of the Blues Highway that we're also traveling on, we are now here at what is called Devil's Corner or Devil's Crossing. See the three guitars up there? Well, this is supposedly where blues legend Robert Johnson sold his soul to the devil to be able to play the blues guitar. Hence, that's why they have this little street corner right here uh, with the guitars up there. Uh, I don't know if this is the exact spot, but this is where we are celebrating it. Uh, still in Clarksdale, Mississippi here. This one goes out to all of my non-RV travelers. If you're uh, getting the car for a, a weekend getaway, here, you can rent a shanty, a shack. This is called Shack Up Inn here. And uh, the lot just has a bunch of these shacks with air conditioning, of course, because it's, you know, Mississippi high humidity and stuff. But uh, it really has that interesting redneck cool, cool feel, you know? They've all got different names. Like this one is the Dog Trot. Isn't that cool? It just looks like a Mississippi little cabin shack that you would find right on the river. Let's see if one of these is unoccupied and we can peek in. Well, this one's being fixed up or something. It's got the screen so you don't get those Mississippi mosquitoes in. Little hanging rocking chair there. I will definitely say quirky. Has anybody ever stayed here in a shack? Little bottle tree here. Huh. Now, this one's all screened in on the porch out here. And of course, we're at the corner of North Shacksdale Circle. Look at that one over there. Cozy, right? I'm trying to think if I know any YouTubers who travel in a car and stay at hotels, like quirky hotels. Uh, I don't know. Maybe there's an untapped market available, guys. Maybe. You could start up a channel called The Motel Show and Tell. Okay, somebody's definitely going to steal that idea. Dang it, I shouldn't have said it. Then across the street from the Shack Up Inn, this is how you get to the office. There's the Tutwiler fire truck. Wow, the property here is awesome. This is just their dead time of year. Uh, there's the lobby to check in. No, that's not a wind generator, guys. That's a windmill. It's milling wind. Yeah. A really old harvester there. I think that's what that is. Oh, and look at this ancient John Deere tractor made of wood. Yeah, I don't think so. And if you don't want to rent a whole shack, it looks like this is a motel because all the doors are numbered. It says bin five, but no, I'm pretty sure these are all rooms. And what's this? I kind of want to go in here. Ooh, a stairwell up the silo to what? I don't know, but we're going to find out. Oh, I think it's another room at the top. Get out of here. Sorry, didn't know. It's my first day. Oh, 
what a gorgeous area. I just pulled off this little uh, roadside park in Leland, Mississippi. Still shorts and t-shirt weather. And the Deer Creek down here. I'm gonna take a little stroll over here. I thought I saw something. I mean, look how pretty this area is. Man, what the heck? Did you know that Leland, Mississippi is the home of Kermit the Frog? Okay, let's go check it out. Well, first of all, they have kitties here at the museum. This is Elmo. He's made up home here. Mm-hmm. Apparently there's two other kitties around here too. Elmo, you funny boy. You can't go inside. <laughs> oh, okay. I understand. Very friendly staff here at the museum and gift store. Gonna go back in there, was just getting a little bit of history. So Jim Henson, creator of the Muppets and hence Kermit the Frog, my favorite Jim Henson character, Muppet, uh, grew up on, on the Deer Creek here. Not technically from Leland or Greenville, but kind of in between, I guess. But this is the place where we say he's basically from the area, so. And the tree trunks in the water, that is so unique to the South. You don't see that in too many other areas. I love it, it's pretty. There's a picture of Jim Henson there with Kermit. So we got Dark Crystal there and uh, Labyrinth, both Jim Henson movies. Look at all this Kermit stuff. Yeah, phone is really cool. Slippers. <laughs> got Kermit in here uh, playing the old banjo like he does in the movie. Someday we'll find it. So they call this the Rainbow yes. Connection Tree here with all the Sesame Street character ornaments everywhere. How cool is that? So these three characters right here, I had these two growing up. Uh, these are old, old, old McDonald's uh, toys actually. They have the McDonald's logo on them. They have some for sale here, 50 bucks. I didn't have this one, but he matches with, with the group there. It's cool. All right, how about that magnet? Birthplace of the Frog. We'll put him right there, next to the other fish, because he fits right in, kind of. All right, Meow. Jackson, go sniff outside. Come on. Okay. Oh, uh, we got a lurker coming. Here comes Elmo. Elmo's like, take me with you. Take me with you. Jax, we may have a stowaway. He's coming your way. Are you scared? Okay, I'll keep an eye. Elmo, you're hilarious. You can't go, buddy. You gotta stay here. Uh-oh. Um, can I help you? Yeah, no, you can't go in there. That's where Jax lives. Jax, you be good. Jax. Uh-oh. What? What is it, Elmo? Is that how you talk to Jax? Do you have anything to say, Jax? No, Jax is cool. Elmo's not cool. It's a normal kitty. It's a normal kitty. Yeah, he's singing a song to Jax. Do you like that song, Jax? This probably isn't going to end well, so I think I'm going to close the door. Bye, Elmo. You don't want to cuddle? Okay, I'll see you next time. Oh my, okay. See you next time. Okay, now I'm officially in Greenville, Mississippi. I don't know about this. It's 3 p.m. on a Monday, but this welcome center does not look very welcoming at all. There's no cars anywhere, and it, ha it, looks, it looks straight up abandoned to me. But get a load of the welcome center. <laughs> they built it as a riverboat. The actual building. <laughs> it's pretty neat. I mean, it's actually floating on water, their own little pond lake. Well, that's promising. Hours open daily, eight to five. So it's definitely. Okay. They lied. It's not July or August, so it's automatically closed. But you know what that means? I can probably, probably get away with overnight parking over there in the lot overnight. I mean, if no one's here, <laughs> yeah, I bet. 
Yeah, should have no problem here overnight, but there is a Walmart in town, in the town of Greenville. So that'll be my backup plan, but this will be a good place to uh, get dinner whipped up in the oven and start editing some video and plan what we want to do for tomorrow. So from Jackson and I, we will see you on Wednesday, guys. Have a good day.